Welcome to part 2 of this three-part video series looking at cleaning scans in Leica Cyclone. You can download the Cyclone database used in this video series by clicking on the link in the video description. So in the previous video we looked at cleaning scans on a per scan basis. The advantage of doing it this way rather than cleaning a unified cloud is that if you discover an error in your registration you can always delete your model space you're back into your registration, unfreeze your registration, modify it as needed. Maybe you've got forgotten to add a scan world or maybe you discover an error with target heights or something. And then once you've re-registered, you can create your model space and it will pull through those cleaned clouds. And we're going to look at working with the registered point cloud so here it is. Now you could you could choose to clean your scans in the registered point cloud. For example, if you were using limit boxes to clean your scan data, you could, for example, clean the scans one by one in here. Or if you were using limit boxes, you could go to view set limit box by cursor. You could take a look at this car and it's been scanned in multiple scans. I'll just demonstrate that. So you can see it's been scanned in at least three scans because we've got three different colours. And by cleaning it out here, you know, if you were using limit boxes to do your cleaning, you've only had to draw the limit box once rather than three times. You can of course use the region grow in here on a per scan basis then set the default clouds and work that way but we're going to look at unifying now so unifying it uses, loses the individual scan worlds the data all becomes one one giant scan world so we're going to say selection select all tools, unify, and for a fast unify, and um, you can choose to reduce the point cloud spacing, but we're not going to in this video, we're just going to join all the scans together. So unifying can take quite a long time depending on how many scans you've got, and um, it does have the effect of increasing performance when you unify data. So now our data is unified. One of the advantages of unifying the data is that we can edit data all at once and reduce duplication of work. So if we look at these people and tripods, now those tripods were scanned in multiple scans. You can make a selection, being careful not to select all. And say add inside fence. Probably selected a few points on the tree, so I'll just remove points inside the fence. Pick a point on the pavement. Say create object, region grow smooth surface. And you can see it's quite quick and easy to remove the noise. All at once. So I wanted to explain a bit about working with layers. So let's have a look here. There are instances where you might be asked to layer a point cloud. So we're going to have a go here at layering the paint lines by intensity. So we're going to select the points inside this limit box. We're going to pick a point on the paint line. We're going to say create object segment cloud by intensity and uh, it's not worked terribly well so we'll choose a different pick point so I'll run the tool again create object segment cloud by intensity still not really done what we wanted so instead of doing that we'll pick a point on the road surface we'll try it the other way around 
So create object, segment cloud, cut by intensity, and that's much better. You can see that it's selecting more of the road surface. Just try and get a perfect selection by saying create object, segment cloud, cut by intensity. And we're going to click segment because that's looking pretty good. And now you'll see that we have paint lines there nicely isolated from that piece of road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove points that are outside of this limit box. Remove points outside fence. Leaves me with just the paint line selected. And you can see we've got, we've got a few points that are a bit spurious. They still relate to the road, but for the most part, that's a good selection. We could always improve upon it by using the limit box to remove some more of the spurious points. So we're left just with the paint lines. If we press Shift and L, we can make a new layer, call it paint lines. And we can assign those points to that layer. Now if we wanted to, we could select that layer and give it a single color. So it's defaulted to gray, but you can choose whatever color you, you felt was representative. So now we have our paint lines that we can turn on and off. And you can see we've now got two point clouds though on uh, our default layer. So we might like to join those back together again. Um, but if we run unify in this space, we're going to unify the paint arrows as well. So let's look at how we could deal with that. We could turn the paint lines off, we could select the default layer with our two point clouds. So if we go to selectable visible, we don't want the vertices. We select the point cloud, two clouds selected. We can copy those to a new model space. And uh, you'll see that we have in our dialog our, our model space with our model space view, and we now have a copy of the model space. So we could rename this to unify. We could call it model space to unify. And then if I close this one down, it's asked a copy of the model space. It's asking, do I want to merge it back? Do I want to remove the link from the original space? Do I want to delete it? I'm just going to say close to that message. Don't want to do anything. We're going to open this one and we're going to unify it again. Actually, a different way of unifying, you can right click here and you can say unify model space. So now our model space is unified. This is the parent world, if you like. It's the one where we selected and copied to a new model space. What we can do is we can delete the two point clouds that are selected here. We can turn on the paint line there if we want. And that's now all that's present in this model space. We can go to our to unify model space. If we select all, you can see there's just one cloud now. So if we close the model space view, we can select these options on closing. We'd like to merge it back to the original model space and we'd like to delete it once we've closed it. Excellent. So you can see we've now just got our original model space view and yep. There's our default layer with just the one point cloud and we've got our paint lines layer. So we've just got two clouds again. Now in a, in a, on a real job, you would probably have 
more than two clouds before you decided to reunify. Um, but uh, like I say, once once data is unified, you do get uh, increased performance. The more you segment a cloud, the slower things tend to get. So in the next part, we're going to look at exporting data to other programs, uh, in particular Recap. Recap format is particularly useful. You can supply a point cloud viewer to your client and also you can import the data to AutoCAD to work with it from there. See you in the next part. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.